I love cats, I love every kind of cat I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat Get hug every cat So anyway, I am a cat lover and I love to run I'm sorry I'm thinking about cats again, I really love Hey Floss Tube, it's Lauren, Cat Lady Stitcher. Luna's here with me. Mwah. Probably not for long. She's got crazy eyes. She's asking, she's like waiting for me to let her down. Ouch. There we go. Um, welcome back. It's been another great week. It's gone by fairly quickly. Um, but I've got some whips to show you, some new starts, some haul, and a finish, finally. Um, so we'll get started with that pretty soon, but first I wanted to point out, I hope you guys enjoyed my intro music because thanks to my coworker who is the one that suggested I start this channel, um, he also suggested that maybe I find some different music for the beginning. I didn't think too much of it at first, but I looked at the link that he sent me with all the different, uh, songs you could use that are licensed for use on YouTube. I didn't really like any of them. So then I got to thinking, I'm the cat lady stitcher. I love cats. I've got to find something with cats in it. <clears throat> so of course I found the song that you heard the chorus to, hopefully. I'm going to put it in there, so I'm hoping you've heard it by this point. Um, <laughs> that I had forgotten existed. And it's basically my theme song. If my life had a theme song, this would be it. So why not? He says it's a cry for help. I say it's awesome and totally worth it. Here's Charlie. He probably won't last but like two seconds. Say hi, Charlie. Say hi, you're so cute. Look at the cute little mustache. <laughs> He's over it. Okay. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that fun song. It's gonna be up there every week now because I'm obsessed. Um, so let's get started. I'm hoping this week will be a little bit shorter. And, you know, I feel like I say that every time and I know that my mind runs about a thousand miles a minute. So it doesn't always happen. But don't we all ramble just a little? And I didn't write anything down. So let me just get started with my first finish. Okay, so you guys know that I've been working on The Heart of the Home by Stitch Rovia for my mom, and I was looking to see if I still had the, the picture. I don't. I don't know where it is. I'm going to do something. Hopefully, hopefully this will actually happen. I am going to actually try to insert some photos this time. So what it should look like will be right here. And hopefully that went through and it wasn't just awkward. I finished it. Um, my intent was to like stitch on different things every day, but I really wanted to finish this one for my mom's birthday because it's like next week. Or is it this week? Oh, it's this Sunday. It's coming up fast. So anyway, I just banged it out, got it done. And it looks great. So I haven't gotten it framed yet. It's not FFO. That's gonna wait until I get paid on Thursday. So it's just finished for now. So this is the kitchen is the heart of the home. There's a bit of a crease because I had ironed it and then I folded it in half so my cats wouldn't get all over it. But it came out really well. I'm super happy with it and I think she's gonna love it. So it's super cute. And I've officially decided that um, the whisk is still my favorite part. Let's see if we can get that up close. This little whisk, it's so cute. My second favorite part has got to be that stove. I mean, how adorable is that? It's just a cute little vintage stove. And that dish towel looks just like the ones that I have, except it's gray and white and not brown and white. Um, so yeah, I have my first finish for Floss Tube, and I'm excited about it. 
Now I just gotta get it framed and hopefully my mom will like it because when I post my next video, she will have seen it and hopefully she'll allow me to post a picture. I don't think she'll care. I'll probably post it on Instagram first. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you're gonna want to because it's gonna be awesome. So that's my first finish. And so I had two new starts because I finished that and then I hadn't started on anything else yet. I'm trying to think. I've been posting a lot on Instagram, um, some progress. So I'm trying to remember what I told you guys last week. I don't believe I had started this. So, or I was about to start it, but I hadn't started yet. So the next one I've got for you is the Clouds Factory pillow, uh, Harry Potter pillow sampler. I started that, I think middle of last week, and I have already done a good little portion of it, like a page and a quarter or something. It's just like the top left corner, um, but I'm really excited about it. Also in Harry Potter news, if you're a Harry Potter fan, the Fantastic Beasts and, well, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, I believe is what they've decided on the name. Um, that trailer came out today. So if you're watching today on Tuesday, March 13th, and you haven't watched that trailer yet, you should because um, it's amazing and I watched it like 12 times already. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so that's the pattern. Uh, and this is, get the string out of the way, how far I've gotten. <clears throat> so I'm stitching this on, what am I stitching this on? I really need to um, write this stuff down, but I'm really bad about it. I buy it and then I forget. This is, I think it's 32 count even weave. No, it's 32 count linen that I got at um, Joann's and I'm stitching it over two. And here comes Luna, so hopefully she doesn't knock over the t uh, camera. But it's super cute, I really like, um, there she goes. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I'll edit that out, maybe not. I mean, life with cats. Some guys, some people have kids. I have kittens. Okay, they're like a year and a half old, but still, they're, they're always gonna be my kittens, they're so cute. Um, but anyway, it's super cute. I'm really enjoying it, it's super fun to stitch and it's pretty fast as long as I count properly. I decided not to grid this time, which may have been not a bad decision, but just it's my first time using linen and not even weave. So it's a little bit more challenging to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, so far I've only miscounted one thing and I'm just gonna, I added an extra row on the Hufflepuff flag. So it's gonna be one row sl uh, lower than this one, but I'll just adjust the Ravenclaw flag on the opposite side to do the same, so. No one will really notice except for me. And as long as it's symmetrical, it'll look fine. So I'm not worried about it. I spent way too much time to go back on that. Um, I didn't do too much on my, uh, my Hade. Um, but I did stitch some so I could actually say that I have worked on more than just one project. <clears throat> um, and I'll, it is called Eagles. Uh, let's see, I've got the picture right here. Oop, this is flattering. Hi guys. Um, <laughs> it's called Eagles View. Uh, the artwork is by Jeff Pritchard and the design is by Michelle Sayeta. It is the finished design. It's full coverage and it is 550 stitches by 823. So it's a lot of stitches and I've only done like not very many stitches. Um, but I am stitching it on 28 count Lugana, which I think Lugana might be my new favorite. Um, I just really love this. It's very smooth and the needles go in and out very nicely um, and I'm really enjoying it. So this is that image. I think I'll probably end up inserting a picture here just because this is not, the colors are not true color here. Um, and I'm like super shaky for some reason. It's not true color, so potentially I'll put a picture here.
Um, so that's this, and I've only, I've, I'm doing this little corner up here right now, and I've hardly done anything to it, um, so I was so focused on my other two projects. So that's all I've got done on that one. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. So I'm stitching one over one on this. So they're very tiny stitches. They're so itty bitty. I like them. I mean, at first it was a little challenging for me to to see this, the holes um, at that, just because they're so small, but I've gotten used to it, so it's not bad. And I take this, I've t I literally, all of these projects came with me to work today, because they each have their own project bag. Um, well, I'm trying to get that to focus, let's see. I think that's, that's better. They each have their own project bag now, which is great, so that's fun. I think I showed you guys those last week, but naturally my uh, Harry Potter pillow is, sampler is in my Ravenclaw slash Fantastic Beasts bag. And then this next one that I'm about to show you. <laughs> guys, so this is actually, I started this today because one, I wanted to have more than just one whip to show you. Um, and two, because I just couldn't wait. I got this in the mail this pattern finally arrived um, and I just really wanted to start on it. So this is, I got these from Stash Unload on Facebook and I'm obsessed. As soon as I saw it, I really didn't have the money to spend on it, but I bought it anyway because you'll see why. Um, it's by Margaret Sherry, which I had not, since I'm still relatively new to cross stitch, I didn't know who she was, but might be one of my new favorite designers, even though I'm pretty sure she hasn't made anything new in the last like 10 years from what I can tell. I could be wrong. So if you know that she's made things, please tell me. I would love to see her stuff. I'm sorry, this is really bugging me. The little, the little box on the screen won't go away. I don't know, that's driving me crazy. Um, so this is Astro Cats, it's a calendar. So there's one for each month. Um, and there, it's the horoscope for each month. I'm not really into horoscopes. Like I know that I'm an Aquarius because my birthday is in February, but other than that, I don't really, I could, you know, I'm indifferent, but I just really liked the cats. So I'm, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it and show you these. Look how cute the kitties are. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up close so you can see each one. So there's the whole calendar, of course, and then um, all of the patterns are in the back of the calendar, which clearly it's, 11 years after the fact, so I don't actually need the calendar itself. But oh my goodness, are those not the cutest cats ever? They're so fun. So what I'm planning on doing um, is these come out to about three by three inches altogether once you know everything is done. Um, so I plan on stitching them individually and then figuring out how to finish them in a way that I can make them on like a button and uh, attach a magnet and keep it at my desk. So each month I have the cat that corresponds best to that month. Cause some of them, you know, cover more than one month. Oops. So they're, they're really cute. So I had to Google which month March falls into or which horoscope March falls into and it's Aries. So that's the one that I started today. It's this one. Um, the only fabric that I had was this uh, like burlap colored linen that I bought on Stash Unload and I was too anxious to start. So it, it, it does blend in a little bit. It's not the best. I wouldn't probably have chosen this, but I was impatient. So this is all I've got done on that. But I started it today while I was at work because I can. It's not too bad um, looking at it in this light, but in person it's a little hard to tell with those browns, but I think once the, the, the circle is completed and there's that outline done, um, I think it'll be fine. And that's, uh, yeah. But I think it'll be fun. I'm really excited about that. Um, okay. Uh, wow, this is going to be a really short video for me. 
All I have left is a little bit of haul, which I actually purchased a couple of weeks ago on, well, I'm, because I'm really excited about it, I'm gonna give the backstory, so just bear with me. Um, I was on Facebook, I think it was in Stitch Mania, someone had posted a picture of their project bag with this fabric and it was just gorgeous. And everyone ha was like, where'd you get the fabric? Where'd you get the fabric? So as the lurker that I am, cause I don't really post or comment in Stitch Mania cause I'm still super new. I just like to lurk. Um, I was watching to see where this person got the fabric from and they posted uh, a link to the group Sash Fabrics. Um, and apparently it's like a limited edition fabric and they had, you know, they didn't have any more at the time. And I was like, man, that's, you know, that sucks, but maybe they'll, they'll have more cool fabrics. So I requested to join that group. And it just so happens that the day that the admins um, accepted my request, I just went in the group just to see what's there because that's the only way you can shop. They don't, I don't think they have anything like posted on their website. I think you had to go through the group to get, to see what was available but almost within like the same, I think it was like five or 10 minutes before I went into the group, they posted that they had some more of this particular fabric and it was just like first come first serve. And it, I think I spent like $30 for one yard, but it was totally worth it. And you're about to see why. Um, I still haven't decided what to make with this because it's just so beautiful and I don't want to cut it and mess up. I'm trying to figure out the best cut because there's a lot of stuff on this um, and it doesn't really repeat a ton. Okay, so da, 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 da. this is Harry Potter Doodles <sighs> and it's amazing. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I wish I could see what I'm doing. Look at that, guys. It is so stinking cute, okay? Like you'd think with most fabrics, it's like a small corner and it just kind of keeps repeating. But they've got like all the major characters up in here. I mean, you can find Luna and Professor Trelawney and McGonagall and Dumbledore. And I see Harry and I see all of the, it does, okay, I see where it starts repeating. So I see Snape and like a bunch of cute little emblems and you see Dobby, the Whomping Willow, Ron, Hagrid's down there, Professor Moody. I mean, come on. I couldn't not buy this. I couldn't, it's just not physically possible. I may not have had um, food that day, probably, cause I'm, you know, money management's not my best skill. <laughs> but I couldn't pass this up. I have a whole yard of this beautiful, beautiful fabric and I still don't know what to do with it. I'm thinking project bag, but I think the project bags that I, used a tutorial for and learned how to make require a half a yard of fabric. So then I have to figure out, do I want to use the half yard to make one project bag or do I want to do something different with it? I've had uh, people give me some suggestions. I've had someone say a pillowcase, um, which would be nice, but I want to like show it off, duh, because it's awesome. My sewing skills are super limited though. So just keep that in mind. If you have a suggestion for me, like, if it's got like a really in-depth YouTube video tutorial or Pinterest tutorial, I can probably make it. That's how I you know, taught myself how to make the skirt that I'm wearing and a purse um, and the project bags. But other than that, that's like the only things I've ever made. So I need really like intense, good instructions. Um, so I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of at a standstill. I don't really know yet what I want to do with it, but it's just... It's beautiful and I love it. And I kind of just want to hang it on my wall and, and never cut it because it's so cute. Oh man. So anywho, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. I'm not great at planning these things. I didn't write anything down. Um, do I have any shout outs? I'm trying to think. Uh, Hmm. I didn't watch a ton of floss tube this week because I <clears throat> was watching other things. So I, I've been kind of behind on that. There's a lot of people that have followed me that I definitely want to go back and um, if you've got channels, watch your stuff. 
Um, I've got a, a ton of new people following me on Instagram that are super interactive and I love it that um, people are encouraging and commenting and giving me suggestions when I've asked for them and it's just been great and so I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as of this moment, I'm at 99 subscribers, which is crazy. I never, I hoped to maybe even have like five. So to have 99 in just the first three or four weeks that I've started, this is just really encouraging and awesome. Um, and I really appreciate it, guys. So um, yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna ramble if I keep trying to talk. So I don't have any shout outs this week that I can think of. I'll be sure to um, do that next time. But I would really appreciate it if you do like this video to give it a thumbs up, uh, to share it, or to you know tell your friends who watch FlossTube to subscribe if, they, if you think that uh, they might enjoy me and the kitties and some fun Harry Potter uh, designs or cats because that's what I like to do. Um, and I would love it if you followed me on Instagram because I post a lot of stuff there throughout the week as well. You get to see lots of pictures of this cutie pie and, and her brother. They're, you know, big stars. Everyone loves them. Probably not more than me because they're cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, and I will see you next week. I love every kind of cat. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat. Can't hug every cat. So anyway, I am a cat lover and I love to run. I'm sorry I'm thinking about cats again. I really love all